all, welcome to another beer review. Um, right, we've got a beer here which um, I've done a little bit of research on the internet. If, if I get hold of a beer which is from a brew I've never heard of, I tend to um, I tend to basically look it up on the internet, if you know what I mean. So um, we're going to clear the road. Is it clear the road? Clear the road. Lancashire for this. Um, never heard of the brewer. Went on the internet, and it's quite impressive actually. That they actually are based in a mill in Cliverow. Apparently, it's got one of the longest bars in the UK. Um, so I read some of the comments and that on on their Facebook um, page and everything as well, and it looks quite good. I might have to go down there and uh, have a look at it. So the beer is from the Boland Brewery. There you go, boys and girls. And it's their pheasant plucker. And I noticed their beers also have this kind of like gamey, wildlifey theme on the labels, if you know what I mean. I've got some more of their beers, which I've got to review over the next few weeks. Um, so, yeah, so this is at 4.5%. And it, it was introduced, well, <laughs> the pheasant I'm talking about now. To introduce to the UK in the 14th or 15th century, the pheasant has been long enough to be almost be classed as a Bolan native. I thought they were everywhere, pheasants. Not particularly the cleverest of birds. No, they're not. Because where I live, I'm surrounded by fields. There's a country estate just up there. And pheasants are out all over the place. And they are pretty stupid because they tend to run towards your headlights when you're driving. So they're trying to pick a fight with your car. So, you know, you've got to be an idiot to pick a fight with a car. Because you're going to end up being second best anyway. Um, so this is a, a bitter. Um, it says best stored and served at 10 degrees. I do not know if it is bottle conditioned. I can't really see. Um, but it looks quite nice. It looks quite looks quite, quite nice, that, doesn't it? Hey, looks really... You know, I'm going on a bit. Right, let's crack her open, like we do. Let's crack her. See what she comes out with. So, bit of smoke there. Black crown. Oh, I've just done my elbow. It's my funny bone. I'm not that funny. What did I call it a funny bone when you hit it? It's not funny, is it? Your funny bone in your elbow. Right. <laughs> Smells nice. Um, raisins and currants. Malty, malt loafy, even. Cakey, like uh, wedding cake mix. But it doesn't smell of pheasants, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So let's pour out. If you might notice, I don't really clean my glass. After the previous beer, I tend to just leave her. So, she's come out, let's give her a swell, like you do. Yeah, you're getting the same from the bottle, from the bottle, getting the same from the glass, should I say. You're getting cumps, raisins, a bit of cake nest there. Smells really nice, actually. Um... Actually, it smells like one of them boozed up cakes you get. <laughs> you know, when when you go around somebody's house and their grandmother's made a cake. And this is from past experience and they've chucked so much booze in it that you can't taste it. <laughs> mm, maybe a hint of bran there as well. So let's top her up. I would say she might have Marisotta in this. Usually, English bitters have Marisotta. So she's in. Looks quite nice. Lots of bubbles going everywhere. They're not going in a uniform, a uniform type of um, queue, orderly queue going up to the top of the glass. They're going everywhere. Um, there is a bit of sediment in there. There is a tad bit of sediment in there, so I would say it is bottle conditioned. 
Right, I'm gonna go in. Cheers. Hmm. Caramel. Wheaty. Branny. Not really getting any currants or raisins now. It's wheaty, branny. Very drinkable. Um, quite well balanced. There's nothing too bitter there. Um, yeah, it's alright. It's actually really, really nice. Um, a very standard type of English bitter. Traditional, should I say. Definitely. Um, any grips, any any gripes, should I say, about this one? There's nothing, um, nothing whingy about it. It's it's nothing you can whinge about it. It's a standard, great English bitter. You know, everyone will enjoy it if you like your beer. That is, if you're not a stupid lager drinker. I will rephrase that. <laughs> Stupid lager drinker. If if you prefer to drink lagers, you know we live in a free world. Um, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's okay. Standard middle of the road bitter. So boys and girls, Boland Brewery pheasant plucker. If you have a bit too much of that, you might be calling it something else. <coughs> Thanks for watching this review. As always, please subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up I'm getting more of them than them at the moment might be from lager drinkers I don't know anyway thanks for watching I'll see you on my next one so cheers